In this video, we create a USB installer, allowing us to install Windows 11 on an unsupported device, bypassing hardware restrictions. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. Windows 11 is posing difficulties at launch for those of us whose PCs fail to meet its strict hardware requirements, and last time, we explored a method for bypassing restrictions on unsupported machines. We return to that theme in this video, using a single free app to take us through the process of downloading an ISO file, imaging that file to a USB drive, and modifying the installer to enable it to work on unsupported hardware. All you need is a PC and a blank USB stick with a capacity of 8GB or greater. The app in question is Rufus, which we featured in a previous tutorial, and you'll find it at the link shown on screen now, and linked in the written description accompanying this video. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll use the portable version of Rufus, which means that it will run directly from the downloaded file, without the need to permanently install it on our device. With the portable version, we have the option to delete it after use. Of course, we could instead use the full version if we intend to use Rufus regularly, and either version works the same way. For those of you running an earlier version, the features shown in this video were introduced with Rufus 3.16, so you will need to ensure that you've obtained the most recent version in order for these features to be available. We click to download the portable version, which may trigger an advertising pop-up, which we simply click to close. The download commences, and at just 1.1 megabytes, concludes quickly. We click to run Rufus. User account control will appear on most systems, and we click yes to provide permission to proceed. Incidentally, we can suppress future messages of this type by following the instructions in the tutorial shown on screen now, and linked in the written description. On first run, Rufus invites us to check for updates, and we click yes to perform this brief check, before proceeding to the main interface. At this point, we insert our blank USB drive into an available USB port on our device, which in our case, is detected by our antivirus software, and also recorded in the device field in Rufus. Should you be using multiple sticks simultaneously, be careful to ensure that you select the correct drive for this process, as it will be entirely erased. If necessary, remove any other USB sticks from your system to avoid the possibility of error. We now need to point Rufus toward an ISO file, which is a single file containing a disk image, and in this case, the disk image is used to install Windows. If you already have an ISO file, you can skip ahead in this tutorial to the timecode shown on screen now, as the first phase of this process is concerned with obtaining that file. If you don't have an ISO, the traditional path has always been to obtain one directly from Microsoft, using the link shown on screen now. However, Rufus streamlines the entire process, allowing us to download the ISO file from Microsoft, then directly create bootable USB media modified to remove hardware restrictions, all from within this single window. Having selected download from the drop down, you may be wondering what to do next, and here we click the download icon again, triggering the download script, which takes us to the version selector. We click the drop down, and our version choices include the last four major iterations of Windows. Naturally for this project, we select Windows 11, then click to continue. At the time of this video's publication, only one version of Windows 11 was available for download, although clicking the drop down indicates the possibility of multiple versions being selectable in future. In all likelihood, you'll want to download the most recent version offered. With our version choice in place, we click continue to advance. The addition selector again hints at the possibility of future expansion, or simply that these options already exist for earlier versions of Windows, although clicking the drop down reveals that the combined Home and Pro option is the only one presently offered. Once more, we click to continue to the language selection screen, with the usual considerable range offered by the drop down. With our chosen language confirmed, we again click continue, where we are presented with an architecture choice. As Windows 11 is only designed for 64-bit machines on release, there are no further options offered. We've now entered all of the required information, and it's time to download. We could download using our browser by ticking this box, although Rufus is fully capable of handling this task, and we therefore leave the option unticked. The initial download will save as an ISO image, and we simply need to provide a location and a title for the saved file. We'll accept the default for both by clicking Save. With the target location set, our download begins. This process will take some time, with around 5GB of data to be transferred, offering an opportunity to take a break whilst Rufus does the work in the background. Some time later the process concludes, and we are told that we are ready for the next phase. 
Heading to File Explorer, we see that the ISO file has been downloaded to our target location. Although we'll be using this file in Rufus, it may also be worth archiving for future use, either to directly perform an inline update, or to image to additional USB sticks, or even to use in the creation of a virtual machine. Returning to Rufus, we see that the ISO we've downloaded has been pre-selected as the basis for our Windows installation media. Those wishing to use an existing ISO file previously downloaded can select it using this menu, and from here onward the two paths converge. Crucially, this download offers two image options. The first can be exercised if your machine meets the criteria for Windows 11 installation, and is effectively the default option available from Microsoft. More interestingly, the extended Windows 11 installation will negate any necessity for TPM, secure boot, and 8GB RAM thresholds, and it's these barriers which we need to remove in order to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. As you'll appreciate, there's a counter-argument which points to the necessity of these features for a safe and stable computing environment, as well as the potential risk that future updates won't be available on unsupported devices, so you'll obviously be proceeding at your own risk. In order to bypass restrictions, we naturally select this option. We're now ready to click Start, but before we do, it's worth noting that in common with all installers of this type, Rufus will entirely and permanently erase all existing data on the drive, so you should transfer any essential files to another device before proceeding. This warning is again made clear by the pop-up confirmation box, where we are required to click OK to proceed. With that, the process of creating the bootable media commences, and we can again take a break as this long phase takes place without further interaction. Once the drive is repartitioned, it may be treated as a new device by your operating system, and here it triggers our antivirus software as though inserted for the first time. You can monitor the creation process in the lower progress bar, and again, it's simply a matter of allowing the software to perform in the background. Once the standard ISO has been imaged to the USB drive, the final crucial process removes Windows 11 installation restrictions, allowing us to install on devices which fail to meet the minimum specifications. After final touches are applied, we are reminded of the need to disable Secure Boot when using the bootloader. As this may understandably raise some security concerns, the window links to a more detailed explanation, which we'd encourage you to consider. Having cleared the web page, we can also close Rufus, and could eject our USB media at this juncture. Opening File Explorer, we see that our USB drive has been mounted, and contains all the files necessary to update from Windows 7, 8, or 10, or to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 on this or any other device. When performing a clean installation, you'll need to set your PC's BIOS to temporarily boot first from the USB drive, by entering BIOS and changing the order of your boot devices, so that the USB drive is the first option selected. Check out our back catalogue of more than 100 tech tutorials, and be sure to subscribe to follow our future projects, by clicking the logo shown on screen now. If you'd like to keep watching, there are links on screen to more videos you might find useful. If you can improve our methods, if you need assistance, or if you just want to discuss anything you've seen, get in touch via the comments. We love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon for your next tech fix.